just yesterday, Anthropic had released a blog post that demonstrated how you can increase the context window on its large language model through prompting. Now, you can increase a large language model's recall capacity by 70% with a single addition to your prompt. This was enough to raise Claude's newer model 2.1 to a score from 27% to 98% on a 200k context window. Now just take a look at this example where the researchers added one single sentence to this prompt and it resulted in a near complete fidelity through Claude's newer version 2.1 with its 200k context window. We can see that this initial prompt that was sent by the user is what is the most fun thing to do in San Francisco based on the context. Don't give information outside the document or repeat your findings. Now they compared this towards the other example which has the addition of this new sentence which states that here is the most relevant sentence in this context and just from this single sentence it's able to showcase that Claude's 2.1 version was able to score from 27% to 98% on the original evaluation for its response in terms of context length. Now, this is something that we're going to take a look at as we go further into the research paper, but we can see that it achieved significantly better results on the same evaluation by adding this sentence. And this is something that we're going to explore by uncovering what prompt engineering is with Claude's newer version. So with that thought, guys, stay tuned and let's get straight into the video. If you would like to access our private Discord where you can access subscriptions to AI tools for free, get networking opportunities, collaboration, daily AI news, you have various different AI topics being discussed on the Discord, as well as a lot of support, definitely take a look at the Patreon link in the description below. If you would like to book a one-on-one -on -one with me where you can access my consulting services, where I can help you grow your business or basically give you a lot of different types of solutions with AI, definitely take a look at the calendar link in the description below. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video at the world of AI. In today's video, we're going to take a look at Anthropic's new blog post, which is showcasing how you can get long context through prompting. Now, this is for its Cloud 2.0 model and something that we can see that see is that with this new model it's able to recall information very well across its 200k context window but something that they notice is that it exhibits reluctancies when answering questions based on individual sentences and this is something that they found particularly with something that is injected or seemed out of place in the document now what they have done is that they have introduced a minor adjustment to the prompt techniques and this is by adding something like an introductory sentence. It has been able to effectively eliminate this reluctancy and it significantly improves this new version of Claude to perform in various sorts of tasks requiring the retrieval of information from individual sentences and is able to increase this long context through this new prompting method. And this is something that we're going to uncover as we go further into the video as we explore this new prompt engineering method. Now, before we go on further to understand the prompting method, we must understand Anthropic's new model, which is Claude 2.1, a cutting edge model featuring a 200K token context window. This is equivalent to approximately 500 pages of information. Now, Claude 2.1 excels in real world retrieval tasks across extended contexts, offering advancements for like enterprises, for example. It includes industry leading features such as substantial reduction in model hallucination rates, improvements in system prompts, and the beta introduction of its new tool, as well as features. Now, it responds to user needs, and this is why they doubled down on Claude's information processing capability of a limit of 200k tokens. It's something that enables the upload of extensive extensive content like code bases financial statements and so much more now this is why it's able to process this large 200k token context window and it's something that they've done to increase through this new prompting method which is something that we're going to explore as you go further into the video 
Pod 2.1 underwent extensive training using substantial amounts of feedback on tasks that are involving long documents such as summarizing documents of S1 length and training data that consisted of real-world tasks performed on genuine documents. This was with a focus on minimizing mistakes and avoiding unsupported claims in Claude's responses. Now, this real-world complex training approach is reflected in Claude 2.1's performance, and this is something that is showcasing a notable 30% reduction in incorrect answers compared to its predecessor, Claude 2.0. This was something that they've done to reduce the hallucination, and it's something that showcases that Claude's newer model is able to exhibit a 3-4 to four time lower rate of asserting that of a document support to a claim when it actually does not. Now, in addition to all of these improvements, we're able to see that Clause 2.1 showcases an enhanced memory capability, which is particularly used in handling very long contexts. Now, we can see that this reduction is showcased through this uh, graph over here, which is showcasing the long context question answering errors with its 70k context window length, as well as in comparison to its 195k context length. And from this graph, we're able to see that it's showcasing that the newer model of Claude has a proficiency in providing accurate and reliable responses in tasks involving lengthy and complex data while minimizing lots of errors and hallucination in that process. We now know how powerful Anthropic's new Claude 2.1 model is. It has a powerful 200k token context window, but in this example, where they were debugging the long context recall, they faced the challenge in basically recalling specific information during an evaluation. Now, in this test, they were basically evaluating the long document composed by Paul George's startup essay. They asked about the most fun things to do in San Francisco. Now, Cloud 2.1 was able to often respond with this prompt which stated unfortunately the essay does not provide definite answers this is something that suggests that there is a need to improve the efficiency of prompting the model for better recall this is why they developed this new prompting method and basically in this evaluation it tested claude 2.1's ability to remember a particular sentence from a long document now, its impressive context window is something that struggled to retrieve the embedded sentence when it was asked about the most enjoyable thing in San Francisco. Instead, it often indicated there was a lack of context in the document. And this highlights the importance of refining how we prompt Claude 2.1's model to enhance its recall capabilities. This is why they introduced this new prompting method to get the most out of its context window. Now they did another in-house experiment and this is by adding the sentence declare November 21st a national needle hunting day. Now this was into the latest uh, consolidated appropriation act bill to see how Claude would basically respond. Now we see in this example that it doesn't actually declare this as a holiday and this is just showcasing that Claude recognized the reference but it hesitated to confirm that this was an actual holiday. This is something that showcases that Claude can detect the mention but it may be cautious about asserting the holiday status which is highlighting a need for improving the response approach. So what they have done is that they released this new prompting method. And this is to enhance the utilization of Claude's extensive 200k token context window. This is something that allows users to make mirror updates to the up prompt for basically making better results with the generation. Now, in cases where Claude is capable of providing an answer but hesitates to do so, a slight adjustment to the prompt can yield a significant improvement for its generation. This is an internal evaluation and the addition of just one sentence of a prompt can lead to nearly a perfect accuracy across its 200k token context window. This is something that is used to optimize this new model and it's something that we saw at the start of this video. 
Now, this approach involves guiding the model to prioritize identifying the relevant sentences that are needed to overcome Claude's reluctancy to answer questions based on isolated sentences. Now, this is something that is especially needed for those that may seem out of place in larger contexts. Now, this is not only to resolve the hesitation that is there with issues that are already in the generation, but also to improve Claude's accuracy in responding to single sentences that are contextually fitting. This is a practical demonstration using the Yahoo via web example, which is illustrating the success of this strategy as a revised prompt that achieves an accuracy rate of 90 to 95%. Now with this new prompting method, we can see for, from the graphs itself that it's able to outperform in generation with the larger context window in comparison to models such as GPT-4 as well as other open source models that are out there. This is something that you can incorporate within your generation at this current moment. So if you're interested, I'll leave all these links to in the description below so that you can start prompting and getting a better idea as to how you can get that larger context window with this new Claude 2.1 model. But that basically summarized today's video on this new prompting method. I hope you enjoyed this video and you got some sort of value out of it. There's a lot of information on this, so definitely take a look at this. But if you guys haven't followed World of AI on the Patreon page, definitely do so so you can access our private Discord. Definitely follow World of AI on Twitter so you can get the best uh, news that is posted around AI. And lastly, make sure you subscribe, turn notification bell, like this video, and check out our previous videos so you can stay up to date with the latest AI news. But with that thought, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you guys fairly shortly. Peace out, fellas.